Having Asker as my mentor has taught me that volunteering and paying it forward is one of the most important things I can do as a person. I've been with Johnson & Johnson for 11 years and I'm currently the North America Program Manager for our Contingent Labor Program. What this means is that I lead a team of individuals that are responsible for the hiring of 7,500 temporary workers across all of North America. Johnson & Johnson has a very open and diverse environment and I found that very rewarding. That's one of the things that when I first came to interview with Johnson & Johnson, as I walked through the hallways, I could see that there were people here from all over the world and I found that to be a very attractive uh, aspect of the company. Johnson & Johnson has been in New Brunswick for over 125 years. In fact, Johnson & Johnson was one of the initial members of the Chamber of Commerce. We have partnered with them to give back to the community. Back in the 80s, Johnson & Johnson teamed up with the Middlesex County Chamber of Commerce as well as the City of New Brunswick to revitalize the city. We wanted to make sure that that city would be thriving for at least another 125 years. In our cradle, one of our core responsibilities is to be able to give back to the communities in which we live and where we work. That is how I got involved with the Johnson & Johnson Bridge to Employment Program. The Johnson & Johnson Bridge to Employment Program has several chapters globally. I happen to be the champion for the New Brunswick chapter, and part of my responsibilities are to find additional Johnson & Johnson mentors, which I pair up with students, and we help give them advice in terms of resume development, uh, soft skills, uh, we help them with their classes, and we help them navigate their high school careers and eventually on to college. I personally have two daughters who I helped navigate the whole college entry process. I'm very proud of my daughters. They both attended excellent universities. And I had done all this research along with my wife in terms of what a student needs to be able to really be competitive in today's world. And I didn't want all that research to go to waste. Another aspect that I liked about the program is that I felt I could really relate to the students. I grew up in a single mom environment struggled with my mother to get through high school. Luckily, I did go to Rutgers and graduated with a degree in computer science, but I felt that having experienced what a lot of these students are currently experiencing would really help me relate to them and help them see that it is possible to be successful. And we have a little saying with the students, we call it grit. It doesn't matter how smart you are, what your IQ is, it doesn't matter how much money your family has, it's the grit. You have to have that grit, it's that will and that drive to be successful. Oscar has taught me that grit is really important to achieve my goals. He has shown me that hard work and dedication will prove to pay off in the end. BT has a great partnership with Rutgers University. Dr. Kamal and his team help us get all the tutors, the instructional material, as well as places where we can meet on Saturdays. So the students come in every Saturday during when Rutgers is in session. So in, in essence, the students are attending school six days a week, but that is where they get their SAT prep classes that really helped them succeed. We've had students increase their scores by over 500 points as a result of the program. In the future, I hope in attending nursing school and a, to attend law school afterwards. Oscar has helped me in my college selections and has proven to me that I have unlimited potential. The BTE program has been around for 14 years in New Brunswick and it has been very successful. Some of our students have gone on to medical school in fact, one of the students that I personally started to mentor eight years ago, Victor Mensa, will be attending medical school this coming fall at Robert Wood Johnson. And I can't help say, but that I feel very proud of him. <laughs>